sends a registered check for $5,000. For that, I meet him in Macy's window at high noon. You from personal touch? And you are? Frank Morelli. I sent you the check. I'm Holly Williams. This is Gina McKay. Yep, thanks for meeting me out here. Well, you know, we were just wondering why this couldn't take place at our office. You were here, Mr. Cosmos? Well, I created them eight years ago. I watched them grow from a two-bit affair in a rundown gym to the to the richest event in professional bodybuilding. So? So with all the money that's at stake now, there's a lot of pressure. And the contestants, they gotta, gotta blow off a little steam now and then. It used to be that it was uh, Bess and Jokes, uh, but uh, I think it's getting a little bit out of control now. This is all very interesting, Mr. Morelli, but it still doesn't answer why we couldn't meet at the office. Because I think somebody's trying to sabotage the event this year, that's why. And I got everything I own tied up in it. I don't know, I think maybe somebody's trying to tell me. I don't want them to know that I'm hiring security people, that's all. Holly, give the man his check back. You want us to bodyguard a bunch of dumb jocks who lift weights and look in mirrors all day? Forget it! What, what is this? You only take jobs you like? My money's as good as anybody's here. Of course it is. It's just that it may not be the right type of assignment for us. Look, I don't want you bodyguarding anybody. I just want you to get inside, look around, ask some questions, see if you can find out if there really is somebody trying to torpedo me here. Is that too much to ask? I guess not. You know, we're gonna have to get some kind of cover on this. Why don't you put the word out that we're from some magazine? And then we're doing a story on the contest. That way we can talk to anybody. That's good. That's very good. And we need a little bit of background. Okay. Start with Ed Montaigne and Johnny Strong. Now, Ed's the king, the new Schwarzenegger. Mr. Cosmo, seven times in a row. For the first time, he's got a little competition from this new kid on the block. That'll be Johnny Strong. You'll meet him. I cannot wait. Looks great, Johnny. All right, let's Good. go. Uh, let's see, Melody, chin up. Stretch it out. Larissa, into the camera, dear. Okay, great. Okay, girls, uh, more sexy. Stay with That's good, good, good. Um, use your hands. Not the hair, please. Hey, I said not the hair. What are you, stupid? Johnny, hold on. It's just an accident. Yeah? <laughs> well, she's fired. Get rid of her, Stu. Come on, Johnny, it was just an accident. She's fired, hear me? Nobody touches the hair. Do you know the rules? We're not finished. Oh, yes, we are. Session's over. Hey, Johnny, uh, I got some people I want you to meet here. This is Gina McKay, Holly Williams. Hi. Johnny Strong. They're uh, writing an article from New Woman's Magazine. It's uh, sort of an introduction to the sport for ladies. <laughs> Great. 
Just tell him to stay out of my way. He's uh, kind of high strung, you know. Um, what with the contest coming up and all, y'all just, I'll go talk to him. I told you we should have given back the check. Let me get this right. Gina McKay has something against being in a room full of guys with nothing but G-strings? Holly, I guarantee you half these guys are married to themselves and they wouldn't dream of cheating. Why are you so bitter? I am not bitter. This job gets to me. At least when I was a cop, I felt like I was accomplishing something. Right, Officer McKay. Never rescued a cat out of a tree. Help some old guy across the street. You know what I mean. Well, cheer up. Maybe a dead body or two will show up for you. Yeah, I just won't the other day. The day I'm going on that. Well, while you're waiting, I'm going to snoop around a little bit. Yeah. That's, uh, I got to see. Yeah, that would be really no, got it's, uh, Ed Montaigne. Mr. Cosmos. Chatting up his adoring public. Uh, it's Rhonda Royal. You know, Royal Athletic Equipment. Jim's. Her uh, daddy started the company years ago, and she inherited it. She's putting up all the prize money. Looks like she's trying to collect on her investment. Well, I think there was a time that uh, it was more than business, but I think that's over. Ed, Rhonda, this is uh, Gina McKay, the reporter I was telling you about. Pleasure. Hi. Ed Montaigne, Miss Rhonda Royal. Hello. Hi. I hope that you won't forget about Royal Products in your article. Oh, no. Practically my lead paragraph. If there's anything you need, you just let me know, all right? I will. Maybe you'll have time for an interview later? Anytime. I love to spread the gospel of bodybuilding. <laughs> I'll look forward. Let's go, Ed. I think they're ready. Excuse me, and uh, it's been nice meeting you. You too. Now you know why everybody loves the guy. He's something, isn't he? Seems to be. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rhonda Royal, owner of Royal Health Products. And it's my pleasure to introduce a man who's built his entire career on using my products and whose incredible strength is a direct result of the Royal Health System and who will now demonstrate the success of that system by single-handedly pulling a bus up that ramp. Let's give a hand to the seven-time Mr. Cosmos, the one and only Ed Montaigne. Cosmos again, he might end up under a bus. Look, it was probably somebody trying to psych Ed out. Anyway, nobody got hurt. Yeah, well, somebody could have been hurt. A lot of people could have been hurt. And it is time to bring in the cops. No, no cops are going to keep this quiet. Why? What haven't you told me, Morelli? Okay. I got a real big problem if this gets out. Like what? Like my insurance company canceling the policy, that's what. No policy, no contest. No contest and I am out of business. For good. <laughs> I mean, look, ladies, give me a little time here. You know, I mean, a couple of days, that's all. Uh, anything else happens, we, we call the cops, okay? I promise. Okay, a couple of days. That means two and no more.
Wouldn't you like to try some of this lobster? No, thanks. My diet's zero fat right now. Don't you ever just splurge? Oh, yeah, I have in the past, but not this close to contest, and not this time. Why is this time so special? Johnny Strong. Do you think he was behind that bus thing? No. No, I don't mean that. I mean, uh, for the first time in a long time, I'm afraid I could lose. The kid's tough competition. Is it so terrible to lose? I mean, you've been Mr. Cosmos for seven years, bound to end sometime. I know that. Every year I say, well, one more time, we'll try it again. It's only been the last couple of years that the contest meant big money. And there's personal endorsements and uh, appearances. And you're number two, all that's gone. Come on. I heard that you and Rhonda Royal used to be an item. She wouldn't dump you if you lost one time. Whatever we were it was over a long time ago. And besides, she'd dump anybody that wasn't making her money. She bit her about the breakup? No. We both realized it was better for business if we kept it business. So if the contest doesn't go on, I mean, let's say the insurance gets canceled, then the big loser is Johnny Strong. And you, still the undefeated Mr. Cosmos. Well, for somebody who doesn't know me, I suppose it could look that way. Someone like me, for instance. Yeah, for instance. But I wouldn't go writing that in your article just yet. Because come Saturday night, I'm going to whip Johnny Strong's butt. Good. Good. I've got to set this bar over here. I'm going to hold this a minute. Please? Sure. I'll get you. you dropped, okay? You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. It slipped, all right? Sure, Oz. You want to see me pick that thing up in one hand? I can do it. Honey, I know you can. Anyway, I like you just the way you are. And what is that supposed to mean? Well, you know. Yeah, without all those muscles and looking like I swallowed a washboard. Ozzy, you have all the muscles I want. What did you call me down here for anyway? I wanted you to take a look at the tow hook. Maybe a lab can check it out, see if it's been tampered with. Yeah, I can do that. Listen, I'm going to finish up about 6 o'clock. What do you say we meet and get a bite to eat? Yeah, I got a mountain of paperwork. And I'll probably be at the office late. I understand. Where's that tow hook anyway? Outside in the car. I'll get it on my way out. Ozzy Bird, I do believe you have a bit of an ego problem. So, Gina, when can I expect to read this article of yours? I don't know. Three to four months. Well, I look forward to it. I'm just wondering whose side you're going to be on. No, I'm not on anybody's side. I just try to get at the truth. OK. Well, uh... Let's head back to the gym. I'm about due for a workout, and we can carry on our interview there. OK, I'll follow you back. All right. Well, that's another interview I'd forgotten about. I thought I was getting an exclusive. Don't worry. I won't tell him anything you and I talked about, OK? OK. I'll see you later. Another interview like hell.
Did we have to meet all the way out here? Just making a point. Which is? That Mr. Ed, holier than thou Montaigne, would not himself drive all the way to Fair Park to have somebody hand him some papers if he was on the up and up, which is what he did yesterday. And you couldn't have told me that last night and saved me the drive. I couldn't reach you last night. At least not before I fell asleep, which, as you know, is very late. Yeah, well, I was busy last night. Did you find out anything? I found out the weightlifters can do a lot of repetitions. I've seen the bumper sticker. I mean, Ozzy. Anyway, the guy who gave Ed the papers, according to my friend at the DMV, is named Michael Dunlow. He's a certified public accountant. Came all the way out here to meet a CPA? Where he would be damn sure not to be seen by anyone. Some tax information on Johnny Strong. Maybe. Maybe he's trying to blackmail Johnny Strong right out of the contest. I'll tell you this. I think Ed would do anything to keep his title. You think he staged that whole bus thing? Maybe. Put the heat on somebody else. Wouldn't surprise me one whit. Look, I'm gonna go check out this Dunlow character. Why don't you go back to the gym and keep an eye on things? It's a dirty job, but... Johnny, I need you to proof some photos right away. Uh, Rhonda, I can't. I have the first slot in the tanning machine. Johnny, the magazine's going to press at noon. Now stop playing around and come on. That's okay, Johnny. You can have mine. I'll take yours. Thanks, killer. Boy and sit on it. What? You gonna make me? Don't let all those weights you lift make your mouth write a check your ass can't cash. Now sit down before I sit you down. Thank you. Now you all through with your own tantrum. Till I get my hands on Montaigne. Why Montaigne? Why do you think it's him? You think what happened in that tanning booth was an accident? My name was the first one on the schedule this morning. Anybody could have seen that. Right, anybody. Now what proof do you have it's Montaigne? Come on! He knows I'm gonna beat him this year. That's why he's pulling all this crap. Only now, he stepped way over the line. And you haven't. I'm just trying to train for a contest. That's all. Look, I can't help it if everybody hates me. Nobody, but nobody likes to see the king go down, but I don't care. You know why? Because I see the hell with them. The hell with them all. Listen to yourself. The whole world's wrong, and Johnny Strong's right. But if everybody hates you, it's for a damn good reason. Montaigne's just as conceited as you are, but at least he treats people with respect. Beat him, match for him in that department. Mr. 
Mr. Dunlow? Yes. Ed Montaigne sent me. Oh, uh, sit down, please. Oh, fabulous chair. Yes, it is. Uh, what can I do for you, Ms. Zim? Oh, McKay, but please call me Gina. Sure. What is it you do for Ed? Whatever he requires. Really? Have you worked for him for long? Oh, Ed and I go back years. Interesting. I've known Ed for <laughs> years, too. Well, you know, Ed likes to keep me a secret, and I like it that way, too. We all have our little secrets, don't we? Don't we? What do you say we talk a little bit about business? Anything you like. Well, you know, Ed's training all day, as you know. But he did have time to look at the papers you gave him yesterday. He did? He finds them mighty interesting. I thought he would. He wants to know how long before the problem becomes serious. It's serious now. Hmm. What do you think will be the next development? It's kind of up to Ed, don't you think? But what do you suggest? Um, are we talking about N-A-E? N-A-E, yes. Let's give Ed a call right now. Oh, you won't get through. <laughs> if he knows it's me, I will. Mr. Dunlow, I'm on a level with you. I work for a private security firm. We've been hired to protect the Mr. Cosmos contest. By who? That's private. From who? I don't know. I believe you can help me. I'm sorry, Miss McKay, if that's your real name. I can't help you. My business with Ed Montaigne is strictly confidential. Even if it puts you in danger? In that case, I'll hire you. Yeah, well, why not just save the money and tell me about NAE? Miss McKay, I have work to do. When you wise up, give me a call. Pictures taken for the contest. Huh. What about you? You don't have to do it? Nope. Just the wannabes. Well, you know, that's good, because uh, we need to talk. Really? About what? Michael Dunlow. How do you know about him? Well, it's my job to know. Your job as a reporter? For now, let's just say yes. Why don't you just tell me about Michael Dunlop? There's nothing to tell. He's an accountant. Then why the rendezvous in Fair Park? You followed me. Who are you? You're not a writer. No, I was hired to find out who's causing all the trouble here. Now, I saw Dunlow give you a packet, and I am guessing that it's not an income tax extension. Maybe it was. What are you hiding, Ed? None of your business. Listen, if you're in trouble, why don't you just let me help you? I don't need your help.
business here. Look, there's no other way. A million bucks! Where the hell am I gonna get my hands on a million bucks? Yeah, well, I'll call you. My insurance company. They know about the tanning booth. They know about the bus stunt. Even the death threat on Montaigne. They canceled my liability coverage. How'd they find out? I don't know. A phone call. Anonymously. It, well, it's over, Rhonda. Well, let's get other insurance. Are you kidding me? The word is out. Uh, the city's canceled my permit here. I mean, this thing is dead unless I, unless I come up with some bond. That was the million dollars? That was the million bucks. What are we going to do? That's right. You're the backer. You're the one with all the endorsements. Frank, I've got enough in this deal already. Half a million in prize money. I'll cut you in on the gate. I don't need the gate. I need a Mr. Cosmos. They're gonna sue us both anyway if this thing doesn't happen! Damn it, Frank. I warned you about this. I told you to do something. I hired security! Security? Her? Hey, wait a minute. A couple of thugs nabbed Montaigne. You better get the police now. This is great. First the insurance, and now Ed's been kidnapped. You two have done one hell of a job. Any ideas? Yep. I think this guy, Michael Dunlow's involved. He mentioned something about NAE, and I want to go look at his files right now. Ozzy. Oh, you mean wait for a warrant? I wonder if Ed Montaigne has the time. Well, what's the plan? Let's figure it out on the way there. Come in. Please. Thanks. I'm from the tech line company down the hall. Are you the guy with the maroon Subaru? Yeah. Your alarm's going off down in the parking lot. We've had some break-ins. Oh, damn, Ma. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Anytime. on it. Nothing here. Nothing here either except RHS. What's that? Royal Health Systems. Rhonda Royal's company? Dunlow works for Royal? These are internal audit documents. Dunlow must have sold these on the slide of Ed. Why is Montaigne interested in Royal's company? He owns a piece of it. It's part of his payment for endorsing royal products. Look at this. It's a pretty worthless net worth. Oh, and here's why. Miss Royal has been draining every single dollar out of royal health systems and putting it into NAE. Which is? New Alamo Estates. That's that huge real estate development up north. That huge real estate disaster. I hear they haven't sold a single unit. You know, she must be Tap City. I mean, how could she get the prize money together? Well, let's just ask Miss Rhonda and find out. Yes? Johnny's strong, Rhonda. Come in, Johnny. You wanted to see me? I want to talk about some business. No matter what happens with the contest, I'm dumping Ed Montaigne. I thought you and he were so close. He's yesterday's news. I need someone new and hot. Are you hot, Johnny? That's what they tell me. Good. I want to sign you to an exclusive deal. Products, publicity. Endorsements? How exclusive? <laughs> you are so hot, Johnny. 
killer told me you had a thing for me. She was right, Johnny. I do. You want me to sign right now? Tonight. But you can be a good boy and walk me to my car. Inside. You just missed her. Why? She's the one that's sabotaging the contest. She's got Ed Montaigne. Well, I'm going with you. I don't know where you think you're going. We're trying to save your competition. I know that, and I'm going to help you. Right. Look, winning that championship doesn't mean squat unless I beat the champ. Well, what do you know? The guy has some class. you were this dumb, Rhonda. Well, now I'm not the one who's tied to a pipe bed. You shouldn't have dumped me the way that you did. That's what this is about. Come on. You know what they say about a woman scorned. What do you want, Rhonda? Oh, nothing. Just the pleasure of seeing my big muscle boy all tied up in knots. Offshore funds are coming into me soon. That'll solve my problem. You really should have stayed out of this. Well, you stripped the company and put every dime into NAE? Just a little creative money management. So then why this? You were going to steal the time that I needed. Having Dunlaw do that audit, calling me and threatening to expose me unless I put the money back. So why not just do that and let me go? There's nothing to go back to. I canceled the contest. Finally got the insurance company to pull out. Cancel that. You were behind all of this. Why? I didn't have the money. I needed it for NAE. If the contest went on, I'd have been exposed. <laughs> anyway, I got a new stud in my stable now. Boys, give me half an hour, then say goodbye to Mr. Montaigne. Hey, hey. turned out not to be so bad, didn't they? I guess so, having the contest anyway, even without prize money. And Montaigne remains Mr. Cosmos for one more year. Mm-hmm. You know what? The lobster tail here is so good. I never was fond of fish. Are you ready to order? Uh, yeah. I I'll start with the roasted red peppers and the lobster tail after. Very good. Ma'am? Just the pasta primavera for me, please. You, sir? I have this right here. Anything to start? 
Oh, no, thank you. That's all. What's your order, Oz? Oh, the house special. I don't remember seeing any house specials. You just didn't know where to look. And what's the difference what I ordered anyway? Pardon me, what did the gentleman here order? Uh, the uh, Montaigne special. Bowl of steamed broccoli. Steamed broccoli? Worried about fat? <laughs> it's healthy. Mm, to good health. At least you can't throw your back out eating broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> 